Friday. So on Friday, we were discussing um, finding, what were we discussing? finding trig functions on any other angles that we might run into. So we can do it two ways. We can use unit circles or we can use um, triangles. This is another one of those problems like the one we ended with on Friday where you can do it both ways and we're going to show both ways in class. identity. It says what about sine and cosine? What about them? Sine squared of an angle plus cosine squared of the same angle is equal to 1. So when I use my circles, this is the formula that I'm going to use. All right, well, I'm told that cosine of theta is negative 2 sevenths. So sine squared of theta plus, now cosine of theta is negative 2 sevenths, so I put in negative 2 over 7, and then I square it, and that's equal to 1. Alright, well I can solve this. Helps if I write what's next. Sine squared of theta plus 4 over 49 equals 1, so sine of square of theta is equal to 1 minus 4 over 49, which is 45 over 49. Everybody okay with that so far? Alright, so then what is sine of theta? Plus or minus, whenever I take the square root of both sides of an equation, I have to remember the plus or minus. So the square root of 45 over the square root of 49, which is just 7. Which one is it? Is it the positive one or the negative one? And how do I know? What's less than 0? The tangent is less than 0. So where is the tangent less than 0? Which quadrants? In 2? And in 4, because that's where the sine and the cosine have different positive and negative signs. Which one am I in? In, am I in, in. Am I in quadrant 2 or quadrant 4? And how do I know? The tangent's negative. Right, so that means I'm either in 2 or in 4. Which one? Because I have to two. pick one, I have to be in one or the other. Two. Why two? Cosine is negative. Because the cosine is negative. So see, I was right. In quadrant four, the cosine, remember, is the x coordinate. In quadrant four, the x coordinate is positive. So since the cosine that I was given was negative, that means I must be in quadrant two. So I'm in quadrant two. So what does that mean about my sine of theta? It's positive because the sign is which, which coordinate? The y and the y is positive. 
positive there, so it's the positive square root of 45 over 7. So there's my sign. Let's put all the rest of them up. What's cosecant? Cosecant of theta. What? 7 over, 7 over square root of 45. What's the next one up there? What's my tangent of theta? So the square root of 45 over 7 is my sine of theta divided by negative 2 over 7, which is my cosine of theta. Since both the 7s are in denominators, that will leave me with the square root of 45 over negative 2. And by the way, you can put your negative either up at the top or down on the bottom. It doesn't matter. Just, as the whole, just so long as the whole fraction is negative. And then what's next? Is it cotangent? No, nope, secant is the next one up there. So what's the secant of theta? <coughs> negative, negative 7 halves. Is everybody okay with that? We take our first sign, which was given, and just flip it over. So that's negative 7 halves. And what is our cotangent of theta? Negative 2 over the square root of 45. 45. All right, that's using my circles. What if instead of using circles, I want to use triangles? Well, let's do the triangle one over here. process is only going to get worse because they're changing all the boards and all the classrooms to be whiteboards. And whoever is picking out the marker is picking out ones that don't erase very well. Just leaving a lot of dust. 